Sometimes the point comes up from skeptics of Christianity that the lineage that traces back to Abraham in the book of Matthew and Adam in the book of Luke has at first glance perceived flaws. The misconception is that the New Testament is trying to prove Jesus' lineage exclusively through Joseph, a man who was not biologically related to Jesus because of the Immaculate Conception. What most people don't take into consideration is, they are two separate family lines. Don't believe me? Let's turn to our King James Bibles and read some key verses that show this distinction. Matthew 1 verses 16 to 17. And Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. So all the generations from Abraham to David are fourteen generations. And from David until the carrying away into Babylon are fourteen generations. And from the carrying away into Babylon unto Christ are fourteen generations. This family tree is from Abraham to Joseph, where Joseph's father's name was Jacob, and his father's name was Methan. Now that we have clarified this, Let's read Luke and watch for the difference. Luke 3 verse 23 And Jesus himself began to be about 30 years of age, being, as was supposed, the son of Joseph, which was the son of Heli. Did you notice that? It didn't say that Jesus was the son of Joseph in any account, especially in this one where the key words as was supposed, shows something different. This is not Joseph's line. This is Mary's. Now, what does this mean? It means that at some point the family line had been split in two, and that Jesus had a traced lineage on both his mother's side and her husband's side as well. Here are the verses that prove this connection. Matthew chapter 1 verse 6 And Jesse begat David the king, and David the king begat Solomon, of her that had been the wife of Urias. Luke 3 verse 31 Which was the son of Melea, which was the son of Menan, which was the son of Matatha, which was the son of Nathan, which was the son of David. So, who is the common denominator within the last two passages? David. Matthew's lineage shows the connection from that of Solomon, and Luke goes from Nathan. This becomes all the more significant when considering the prophecies that make this apparent that the Messiah would come from the line of David, as found in the scriptures. Isaiah 9 verse 6 For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name it shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. 